Howdy. All right, in this video I'm going to show you that you can playback down that you can download your purchase movies through the Amazon Prime video app, Amazon Prime, Amazon Video on Demand, Amazon Video. Um, because even if you don't have Prime, it'll still work. It'll just be movies you purchased. Anyhow, so you can download movies that way and watch them offline. I'll also show uh, this is part two of a video of basically showing you how to watch purchase movies on your Oculus Go. But this is focusing on the offline aspect. You can download movies through Amazon Prime Video, Amazon Video On Demand, and through Netflix. I didn't cover Netflix in the last video. I will cover it in this one. You're going to have to sideload these apps, and I will provide a link in the video description uh, of the APKs to download, and I will show you what files are what and what they do, and here we go. Okay. First thing you're going to need to do is download the zip file. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description and then extract it to wherever you want on your computer. And these are going to be the files, the folders that come up. So if you if you uh, followed my last video, we installed Amazon Video. These these two apps. Let's see. This one right here uh, is the actual like from the phone. It's the Amazon Video On Demand application. This one right here brings up an icon in Oculus TV because otherwise it doesn't have an icon. And let's see, then on Fandango, this is a Fandango one. It comes with an icon. You install it, it will show up in Oculus TV. Um, and this one is Smart YouTube. Um, that one is made for Android TV, so it does have an icon automatically that comes up. All right, now here. This, we have Netflix, um, Netflix phone app. That's just, I got it from my phone, it works great. Um, but it doesn't come up with an icon for uh, Android TV, for Oculus TV. So, um, the reason why we want the phone one is because it allows us to download. That's why we're not loading an, uh, an Android TV version. So here we go, if you install this APK up here, it will create an icon uh, in Oculus TV for you to launch it. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and use uh, ADB Link to install these files. Make sure you're connected to your device. Or you can sideload them with the command prompt, however you want. And then just go ahead and click on the Netflix files. And, and once you do that, I'll explain these other files. So now we have other files in here. Oculus TV Netflix Launcher. Uh, if you install that, it will create... Here's the problem. Here's what we have to do. We can download files to the Oculus Go from Netflix and from Amazon Video, but when you natively launch Oculus TV, if it's in offline mode, if it doesn't have a Wi-Fi connection, it will say that something went wrong and you can't access the apps. But there is a way to launch apps directly into the Oculus TV interface and that's what this video is showing. Amazon Video, this one here, also Oculus TV, Amazon Video. That will create a, a shortcut in your Unknown Sources tab to launch Amazon Video directly into Oculus TV. Same thing with Netflix. This one will create uh, a shortcut in your Unknown Sources to automatically launch Netflix in Oculus TV. That way it works when you're offline. And App Starter, this is another one. We're gonna install App Starter because what you can do with this is if you don't want to install a separate a separate shortcut for each app you want to load, so you don't have too many things in your unknown sources tab because it already has a bunch of stuff in it when you already enable developer mode. Um, let's say you don't want to have an a shortcut for every single app. You just want one. So if we do App Starter and you install App Starter, you can install that through ADB, through ADB link or through the command prompt. This one here is the actual app. This one here is the shortcut that shows up. You don't need it if you're not going to actually launch App Starter from Oculus TV. But if you want to, um, this is a shortcut. This will create a shortcut in Oculus TV. But this one, when you install this one, it will show up as a shortcut uh, in your unknown sources. And the benefit of this app is that you can, it's just one app that you can then have access to all your other apps 
within Oculus TV. So um, it's very convenient. You don't have to do this with every single app. You just do it with this one app and then you can fire up any other app offline in Oculus TV. All right, here we go. Oh, what? Oh, I installed App Starter, so it wants to know. Don't select App Starter, just select Always use, for Use Oculus App Runtime at Home. Select Always. Let's see, Oculus TV. We're gonna launch Oculus TV, and right now we're online. I'm just gonna show you, I've downloaded some, some things. We'll go to Netflix. The Netflix I loaded will be in Unknown Sources. Go up here, uh, downloads. You see, there's my downloaded file. All right, now we can play that. But watch this. If we go to, let's say you're offline. Let's say you don't have a network connection. Okay, you're like, man, I'm offline. I'm out in the middle of a desert. Hmm, I'm bored. I have a friend coming to pick me up in a few hours. Let me watch some of my saved stuff here. I'm gonna fire up Oculus TV. So I want to watch some of my downloaded videos. Oh no. It doesn't let me do anything. I can't watch my videos. All right? But now, because we installed those other apps, watch, go to unknown sources, and yeah. Oculus TV Netflix. It launches straight into, into downloads. I can just click on play. Again, make sure my volume is down. Okay. And there we go. It's playing just fine. Oops, I backed out of it. How do we do this? There we go. Yeah, so it's playing just fine. No problem, it's in offline mode. It looks great. Okay. Okay, one really important thing I want to point out about the Netflix app is it's not really, this app isn't what I would recommend to use just to watch regular videos because you can't really navigate in it very easily. Like I can't navigate down here. Um, and it's even if you go to available for download, it's going to be difficult to navigate or maybe even impossible. Like I could click on this stuff, but I can't scroll down. So, but what you can do is this. You can access your list and you can scroll through your list. So, <clears throat> what I would recommend to do is if there is something you want to download, add it to your list and then just come into your list, add it to your list on your phone and then come in here and scroll through your list. Why is this on here? I do not watch The Walking Dead. Let's see, nope. That's the only thing about the Netflix app is it's really only good for using this one to save things offline that you're able to save offline. If you wanna just watch Netflix, just watch the built-in Netflix app that comes with the Oculus Go. And we can also do, here's the Amazon one, Oculus TV Amazon Video. Okay, now here's how you can download for the Amazon Video On Demand app. Here's how you download videos. You launch the app. Go to your video library. Let's see. Let's say I want to download this. You click on your video. Click on See, download. It asks you what quality you want. Since this is just a demonstration, I'm going to use the lowest quality. Look, gives a little notification that you can see down below here. So now it's downloaded. That's how you can download apps. And again, I'll show you how you can play them. When you're in offline mode, unknown sources, app starter. Click on Prime Video. It's a problem.
So I click on Prime Video from within App Starter. And if you get this blank screen, hit the back button. Well, let me see. Hit the back button once. Yeah, kiddo. Are you making a video? Yeah, I'm making a video right now. And oh, sure. Yeah. Let me open this for you. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so here is the video. Um, just click play. And bam, there it is. Yeah, it's in poor quality because I selected the lowest quality. <laughs> so, but uh, there it is. It's playing. Here we go, app starter. Fires it up in offline mode. Bam! This was originally des designed for the Amazon Fire TV and Amazon Fire TV Stick. Um, you see, I put a few things up here. Amazon Prime Video. You can move things around if you hold down the button. Then it flashes. Then you can you can you can scroll and move things around. Move an icon around and click on it again to keep it. So I have up at top. Uh, these three. I'm using ES File Explorer because I can play offline movies from a USB stick. It'll show up down here and then I can, they'll play in Kodi. They'll play in Kodi and I made a video on that already. So go check that video out. All right, that's it. Um, hope you guys like this. This was not my idea. This was not my invention. This came from a Reddit post originally started by Juggernaut was the is the username thumbs up to you juggernaut for starting this and he created a uh, a github project where you can compile the apk for different for different apps he threw up the the apps for the apk for app starter was from his github releases link i compiled the other two from the information he gave me on reddit but he has those compiled as well for amazon video and uh, netflix so you can go there you can get either of those or you can just download and install them from the link in the description to the apks that i posted i will post links to the original reddit posts so you guys can look at all that and yeah that's it all right if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down Subscribe for more stuff that I'm going to probably hopefully do. I've got a list of things I want to, videos I still want to make. Some really cool stuff, uh, I think. And uh, all right, I'll catch you later.